Jesus.
Oh!
su abuela. Mineri papala, abuela. Mineri papala, mechis.
Yakalingomo Emma Simi Echabula Hamatoli Kubiteka Watinu Mama Yakalingomo Sabu Ingomo Emma Simi Echabula Hamatoli Kubiteka Watinu Mama Ya kalingo mo Sisa no mtaba Sisa ni mechokulo Lugu tamaku wa stambe mame Kalumtana Kalumina Kalizincha Kalingo mo Ingomo, ema simini, eja kula hamatole kubiteka, watino mama ya kalingomo. Sabu ingomo, ema simini, eja kula hamatole kubiteka, watino mama ya kalingomo. Tamaku wa slambe mamie Kalumtana Kalunina Kalisincha Kalimuru Kalumtana, kalunina, kalizinja, kalingulu
children now Where do they sleep
Jesus had nothing to do with Lord Jesus. One, two, two. Is the sound sorted at the back? Not yet. What about holding? Finally, we seem to have got our problem resolved, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all of you. My apologies for the short commercial break, which was caused by our technology. May I just make a few announcements before we commence our program officially, Your Excellencies and Distinguished Guests, that kindly note that there will be no interval during the official proceedings. May I just request that, um, if any, we to do anything between now and the official start, we do it now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so that there is no interruption of our proceedings. My name is Zizi Kodwa, the Minister of Arts and Culture, Sport, Arts and Culture. Thank you very much. We should start with our program soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, may we please rise for the arrival of His Excellency, the President of the Republic. Please remain standing for the singing of the, our national anthem. Thank you very much. You may be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, the President, Deputy President, Cabinet Ministers, Deputy Ministers, distinguished recipients of the National Orders, and friends and your families, and fellow South Africans, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the National Orders Ceremony 2023. It is therefore my singular honor that I invite His Excellency to commence with the ceremony, Mr. President. Program Director, Minister Zizi Kodwa, the President the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Paul Mashatile, and Me Shumile Mashatile, Ministers and Deputy Ministers, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Ms. Nosiviwe Mapisa Makula, Members of Parliament, the Chancellor of the National Orders, Ms. Pindile Baleni, members of the Advisory Committee or Council on National Orders, members of the Diplomatic Crew, recipients of the National Orders, together with their families, and fellow South Africans. It is my honor and privilege 
to once more present and bestow South Africa's highest accolades, the National Orders. This is the first full ceremony since our country was engulfed by COVID-19 restrictions. This in itself represents the determination of a number of South Africans to rise above adversity, to persevere and to strive in pursuit of a better life and a better world. Today we honor South Africans and other foreign friends of South Africa who put themselves at the service of their country and its people and for those who are our foreign friends who put the interests of South Africa in the work that they have done. They have emerged from a process that involved the receipt of nominations from across the length and the breadth of the country, reflective of the broadly participatory nature of our honors. That the National Orders Ceremony is taking place this week is tinged with symbolism. Symbolism that has a lot to do with what we have built as South Africans since 1994. On Thursday, the 20th of April, I received a state visit from President Hage Gengo, the President of Namibia, the land of the brave who graced us with his presence here in South Africa. Through that pre visit, we were able to recall the struggles that the people of Namibia waged against the evil system of apartheid. And we were able to recall how we were together in the trenches, struggling against apartheid, and we were overjoyed when they triumphed against the colonialism that had been imposed on them and their struggle against apartheid. They also rejoiced when we triumphed in 1994 against apartheid. On Tuesday the 24th, 25th of April, I received a state visit from the President of the Republic of Finland, His Excellency President Sauli Ministro. It was a welcome opportunity for us not only to reaffirm the importance of the bilateral relationship between Finland and South Africa, but also to thank the noble Finnish people for all they did to support South Africa's liberation struggle. A day later, on Wednesday, the 26th of April, we received the sad news that our beloved Harry Belafonte, a towering figure in the civil rights movement and a great friend of South Africa, had passed away. In 2008, Harry Belafonte received the order of the companions of O.R. Tambo in recognition of his role in sustaining a cultural boycott against apartheid South Africa. As much as we are saddened by Mr. Balafonte's passing and once more pay tribute to his legacy, as South Africans we are comforted by the fact that we were able to extend our appreciation to him in his lifetime. Yesterday we celebrated Freedom Day 
in honor of the historic events of the 27th of April 1994 when our new nation was born. In different ways and in different contexts, the men and women we honor here today all contributed towards the freedom that South Africans enjoy today. They did what they did, said what they did say, and acted the way they did, not for prestige or for fame, not for recognition or reward, but because it was the right thing to do, and they managed to do the right thing. And that is why we are honoring them today. In doing the right thing, their actions had a lasting and enduring impact and live on long after them what they did and live long after those who may have passed on. Those who are receiving national awards embody the founding values of the South African Republic, namely the achievement of equality, the advancement of human rights and freedoms, and perhaps most importantly, human dignity. The order of Mendy for bravery is made to South Africans to dis who displayed the greatest courage in trying to help others. All three of this year's recipients of the Order of Mendy for Bravery lost their lives in the cause of saving others. There can be no greater sacrifice. The Order of Lutuli is awarded to South Africans who have contributed to the struggle for democracy, human rights, nation building, justice and peace, as well as for the resolution of conflict. This year's recipients include eminent scholars, liberation fighters and activists who risked arrest, banishment, exile and even death to amplify the voice of the oppressed South African people on the world stage in the dark days of apartheid. The Order of Inkamanga recognizes South Africans who have excelled in the arts, in culture, in literature, music, journalism, and sport. We are proud to count amongst this year's recipients one, some of our most outstanding sporting heroes and heroines that I was honored to welcome here at the Union Buildings. Your victories have inspired a whole nation and a new generation of sporting people. I would like to single out for particular mention the awarding of the order in gold posthumously to Mr. Solomon Popoli Linda. Even though his music was famous throughout the world, he never received the dues that were due to him in his lifetime. As the democratic government, it is our humble wish that his honor will restore the dignity of Mr. Linda and give comfort to his descendants. The Order of Baobab is awarded to South African citizens for distinguished service in the fields of business and the economy, science and medicine. Recognizing these important contributions to the national life of our country inspires the younger generation to follow in your footsteps. Cultivating excellence in these disciplines are the building blocks of a better, more prosperous South Africa that leaves no one behind. By equal measure, the Order of Mapungubia recognizes South Africans who have achieved excellence and exceptional achievement for the benefit of South Africa, 
and beyond. This year's recipients have excelled in the critical fields, fields of physics as well as environmental science. Finally, the Order of the Companions of O.R. Tambo recognizes eminent foreign nationals, friends of our country, for their friendship, the friendship that they showed to South Africa. We salute this year's recipients, some of whom are no longer with us, for using their talents and to draw attention to the great injustice that was apartheid. As much as the regime tried to commit atrocities in secret, the friends of South Africa, the people in the media and in music, the music industry and in the publishing world always made sure these crimes that were being perpetrated and committed against the people of South Africa were exposed. They wrote, they published, they sang about us and our plight as a people. I congratulate all who are being recognized and honored today. This is an honor and recognition that is bestowed by the people of South Africa or to those who are being honored today. Your good deeds and exceptional achievement will forever be remembered. As William Shakespeare once wrote, how far that little candle throws its beams, so shines a good deed in a naughty world. By the power vested in me, in terms of Section 84 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, I now confer the order of Mendy for Bravery, the Order of Inkamanga, the Order of Baobab, the Order of Lutuli, and the Order of the Companions of O.R. Tambo to the distinguished persons indicated. And they shall henceforth be honored as esteemed members of the Orders of South Africa. I hope and trust you all join me even before they come to stage as we salute them. The people of South Africa, the people of South Africa salute them all as you have just saluted them. And I now direct that the orders should be awarded. As I do so, I will ask those who are in charge of this building to switch the air conditioner on <laughs> before the people who are about to be awarded collapse because of the heat. So I direct that the air conditioner must be switched on. Thank you. <laughs> Bevoegdheden aan mij verleen bij de grondwet van de Republiek van Zuid-Afrika 1996. Ken ik de orde van Mendi voor dapperheid, de orde van Ikamanga, de orde van Boabab, de orde van Letuli, de orde van Mapungukwe en de orde van die metgezellen van Oartambudu. Die ontvangers worden voor ton geëer als gezinnen leren van die orde, ordes. Die mensen van Zuid-Afrika brengen hoorde aan alle allemaal. Chivenda, Nama Anda Enda Weshwa One, Nachipi da Chamfu Maro Ina, Cha Republic ya Africa Chipembe, Changwa wa Gidi da Tai Fu Tae Ranchi. Di nature da chi ara cha mendi chawai, chi ara cha ikamanga, chi ara cha mubuyu, chi ara cha lutuli, chi ara cha mapungubye, na chi ara cha tama za o artam. Watanganit. Wa doto ni fiwa samirato ya ziona. Watu wa Afrika chipembe, wa vurela mungazi. Kasa na 
Mata au kwa fwengi mula wa muta wa Republic ya Afrika Bura Wasili Mosa Sikiti Makulo Arubum Mashume Arubum Amitu Eti Leting Hasha le kuresa khao ya mendi Sipake nsawon sa sibit Khao ya ikamanga Khao ya bayopap Khao ya lutuli Khao ya mabungupwe Le khao ya ditakata o artamu Hutuwa jole ba amuhedi batla shum kwa jolo ka ditote shum pi ili nza di kaute Batuwa Afrika Bura batla batu ule takao fela habon Muzika Kwa hivyo tata zidi neilwe nki mwala watawa wa Republiki ya Afrika bwa wawunga kwa wasi kite makula ngobungo soma ngobungo lobo gatao. Janu kinela naka sekelesa mengi sapo pelo kale, sekelesa ikamanga, sekelesa baobab, sekelesa lutuli, sekelesa mapungube, le sekelesa ditalaza kwa uwa tampo. Kwa hivyo 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 kwa Isi pause. Kama punya enji wani kiwe, pansi kwa mkwa kwa sise kwa we Republic yom zanzi Afrika. Wama waka ali shume ali nesi toba, ama shume ali toba ali nesi ntanda atu. Ngoku ndi nikeze la imba saye mendi yoku kalipa, imba saye ikamanga, imba saye bau bau, imba saye kagutuli, imba saye mapungu ubekunye, imba saye masakani ka o aritamu. Apo baza fumana, ukusuke la ngoku baya kunikwa imbeko jenga malunga adeke gileyo embaza. Apo ndu basem zanti Afrika, baba utule la umuazi bongi. Sipedi, kama ta osha au kifluwe nti mula utewa wa Republic ya Afrika mungu. Wangwa kaya sikiti sinyani masume sinyani tila. Yale ki abena sifukwa sa mendi sa bohale, sifukwa sa mendi sa ikamanga, sifukwa sa mendi sa baobab, sifukwa sa lituli, sifukwa sa mapungubye, li sifukwa sa bako gaba o artambo. Ba mwere du gotu ramo ba shompiwa bie lo kama luku a shompi gaho a di fuku. Ba tu ba afrika borwa, ba ba shompa ka muka. Na manja eni tuesu yu wano ngu mteto si sege lo basi ngizu ma afrika. Wanya gabi ngulu mwani na makulu ayisi shaka lulunye na mashuma ayisi shaka lulunye ni situpa. Gitwe sa manje izi misele ze ngome lobu kawe we mendi, izi misele ze kamanga, izi misele ze baobab, izi misele ze galutuli, izi misele ze mapungubwe, izi misele ze wafababaga o artamu. Lava bazo tuya sa li minye zani kusuga la manji, bazo shunisho nguguba nga malungu akavili, ezi ndondo ze sizwe. Aba ntu bazi ningizi mafrika, mba netulula isi ko. Isi swati, nye manja lingi ni yotowa na nga pansi we mteto stegelo, we republic ya se ningizi mafrika. We mnyaka yonkulu ngwani, ni makulu la mfika, ni mashumi la mfika ni stupa. Gitanza uwe shonipa, ke mkomolo we mendi wabu kawe, o mkomolo we baobap, o mkomolo we lutuli, o mkomolo we mapungu ube, kanya ni mkomolo we banga ni ba o artambo. Laba mke libata ushonisha, jenge malunga lasa mkoga eti nfo nfo te sifi. Pa nfo basi ningizi mo Afrika, babe tuila lasi koko, bonke. Isi ndebele. Nga pasi kwa mantla engi nigele ona ngu mteto sigelele we republic yese ula Afrika yomnyanga we kulungwani na makulu alitoba na mashumi alitoba ni standardu. Nga tesi ngi nigele ngo nongo rwana uvu kutani we mendi, unongo rwana we ikamanga, unongo rwana we baobab, unongo rwana we lutuli, unongo rwana we mapungu uve, kunye nongo rwana wabalinga ni baka u aritambu. Aba muge ili kusuge la kate si bazo kushonichwa njenga malunga ashon pegi lego wabo nongo rwana bo kushonichwa. Isi chaba sese ula Afrika. Sini tulela ingwa di noke. Kwe isan. Kwe te khom ke kwenye set Afrika ki nyentin ses en nyentak. 
te are mendisi mutetwe te are ikamanga mutetwe te are boba mutetwe te are luthuli mutetwe te are mapungu bwe mutetwe te are o are tambo mutetwe te khwete ke qara go eng go mkekwenye khwete set africa ti si go mkekwenye dangenu ngamkwe Ladies and gentlemen, can you once more give them a big round of applause? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, distinguished guests, and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of Mandy. A very good morning. My name is Nzinga Kunta. It's such a pleasure and a privilege to be your orator today. I'll be explaining the orders a little bit more, even though the president has already done it. The order of Mendy is bestowed to South Africans who have performed acts of bravery, and that act of bravery may have occurred anywhere in the world. 
The heroes of Amindi Order gave their lives so that there may be peace in order that people of all colors and faiths may regard one another as brothers, not aliens, friends, not foes, and partners and co-workers. I now quote Reverend S. D. Morky, who said, this is the supreme message of the Mendi, that all men everywhere should regard one another in the very best of terms and realize, as perhaps never before, that their destiny is one, and that since in death they are one, why should they not be one in life too? We die together in war, but fight one another in peacetime. Why can't we here and now live together in love as we die side by side in war? That, I say, is the supreme message of the Mendi. To the brave ones, the order of Mendi is bestowed. Mr. President. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Mendy for Bravery in Silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Denver Cock, posthumously represented by Mr. E. Cock, for his selfless The order is bestowed for his selfless and heroic act in saving the lives of commuters in immediate danger. Through his courageous deed, he paid the ultimate price to ensure the survival of other people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Mendy for Bravery in Silver is hereby bestowed on Sister Mary Ann Tolle, posthumously, represented by Mr. K. Tolle. This order is bestowed for her selfless act to save others that led to her losing her life. The courageous act remains her legacy to all who knew her in her, in her young life. The Order of Mendy for Bravery in Silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Komoto Thomas, posthumously, represented by Ms. I. Mazaban. The Order is bestowed for his heroic rescue of two young people from drowning and in the process, he paid the ultimate price. Mr. President, distinguished guests, fellow South Africans, it is now my honor 
that will bestow the order of Ikamanga. The order of Ikamanga is awarded to South African citizens who have excelled in the field of arts, culture, literature, music, journalism, or sports. Out of Africa's cradle of dust, you are the creative spirit that lifts us up and pulses throughout the country. Your tunes go the distance across the streets and the seas. You have heeded the call to run the tough kilometers on our roads and fields and in the museums of our minds. Your perseverance and dedication are an inspiration to all who witness them. Your achievements stand tall, a testament to the human spirit, unwavering. To them, the order of Ikamanga is bestowed. Distinguished guests, the, the Order of Ikamanga in Bronze is hereby bestowed on Mr. John Arthur Black. For his contribution to action and endurance sport, his achievements inspired many people by their sheer determination of human fortitude. Africa Manga in Bronze is hereby bestowed to Mr. Warren Neil Eva. For his contribution to action and endurance sport, his achievements inspired many people by their sheer demonstration of human fortitude. The Order of Ikamanga in Bronze is hereby awarded to Dr. Matozi Irene Mawela. Outstanding contribution to the performing arts, her natural voice induces evocative emotions that have moved many local and international people. Manga in silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Bongiwe Bongi Lomo Mawutwa.
for her, curate, for her contribution to the fields of arts by curating creative projects that preserve significant periods in South African history. Kamanga in silver is hereby bestowed on Professor Keith Adrian Gotcha. <laughs> using his creativity to draw critical attention to oppressive and unjust laws through performance political poetry. His work provided strength and motivated many people to fight for liberation. <laughs> Kamanga in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mtutuzeli Ben Nomoi posthumously. Represented by Ms. Ben Nomoi. work in television and film industry in South Africa. He was one of the groundbreakers in the production of TV and film local stories. <laughs> Kamanga in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mfundi Vunda. television and film industry in South Africa. His body of work in the field of arts is indisputable proof of the value of consistency. <laughs>
Award of Ikamanga in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Mono Arthur Sipo Padela, posthumously represented here by Mr. P. Padela. <laughs> For his excellent contribution in the field of journalism and mobilizing the masses against oppression, his storytelling through journalism became an integral part of the struggle against injustice. <laughs> Kamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Ms. Desiree Ellis. <laughs> For her excellent contribution to football, a male dominated sport, her sustained excellence provides encouragement to women to excel in their respective fields of endeavor. Ikamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Siamtanda Sia Golisi, who is represented here by Mrs. Yeah. For his inspirational leadership and contribution to rugby. He is a trailblazer in democratic South Africa by being the first black person to captain the Springboks to World Cup glory. Kamanga in gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Solomon Popoli Linda posthumously, who is represented here today by Ms. E. Nzele. <laughs> For his contribution in the field of arts as a musician and composer, his creativity saw him produce a song that is both epochal and evocative to the nation. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Order of Ikamanga in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Bokwe Smagushe Mafuna. <laughs> For his excellent contribution to journalism and political activism, his work is a perfect example of the intersection between journalism and scholarship on the liberation struggle. <laughs> Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the Baobab. The order of the Baobab is awarded to South African citizens for distinguished service in the fields of business and the economy, science, medicine, for technological innovation and community service. The Baobab tree sustains life from its roots even in arid, difficult conditions, it thrives. We learn lessons as we gather under the shade of this tree, listening to the wind gently whistling about legends and lessons of old from its branches. The order of the Baobab is bestowed on those who have made a safe space and place for us under the tree of knowledge. The Order of the Baobab in silver is hereby bestowed on Dr. Solomon Boyes Isaac Lepakana. <laughs> pioneering contribution in the field of civil engineering. He inspired many people behind the scenes to take up engineering. The Baobab in silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Puti Rahopala. <laughs> Oh, 
contribution in the field of education and demonstrating the need to move with the times by promoting technological awareness and advancement to both teachers and students. Silva is hereby bestowed on Mr. Cornelius Rua Stradon. For his outstanding role as a global philanthropist, his work has gained him recognition from leaders around the world. Field and ensuring the equal distribution of medical attention to all people, especially the previously disenfranchised. <laughs> Professor Ephraim Tibedi Mokoko. <laughs> For his 
his excellent contribution to medical sciences in South Africa. He has distinguished himself with his dedication to providing gynecological services to poor women in rural areas. Distinguished guests, the Order of the Baobab in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Simon Deliweyo Ngobo, posthumously represented here by Mr. Sonta Ngobo. For his contribution to education by resuscitating a historical school and turning it into an institution that served and groomed many young people who have become leaders in South Africa. Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the Tuli. The order of the Tuli is awarded to South Africans who have served the interests of the country by making a meaningful contribution in the struggle for democracy, human rights, nation building, justice, peace, and conflict resolution. Throughout its history, the liberation struggle always formed alliances that enhanced its vision of a united, non-racial, non-sexist South Africa. In that time, it cultivated people of extraordinary courage, intellect, and selflessness to direct this vision. Amongst them was Ngosi Albert John Mvubi Lutuli, a committed servant of his people. He pursued a path that displaced the notion of war and violence as vehicles to achieve freedom. Those who continue his legacy are honored today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Lituli in Silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Molly Bellhouse Blackburn, posthumously, here today represented by Ms. Fenn van Donner. <laughs> Her 
contribution to the fight for liberation in South Africa, often risking her life for firmly upholding the liberation cause and ideals to the end. The Order of Lutuli in silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Moki Jacob Bonisile Tekisari. <laughs> for making a significant difference in our society by providing an indispensable bridge between the struggle for liberation and post-apartheid community development. The Order of Lutuli in Gold is hereby bestowed on Ms. Ethel de Kaiser, posthumously, today represented by Ms. N. Busika. <laughs> For her astounding contribution to the struggle for liberation, her fundraising for scholarships for freedom fighters and their children's education kept up the morale of our freedom fighters in exile. <laughs> The Order of Lutuli in Gold is hereby bestowed on Mr. Ibrahim, Ismail Ibrahim, posthumously, herein represented by Ms. S. Ibrahim. <laughs> For his lifelong commitment to the liberation of all South Africans, he lived by, a, by the courage of his convictions and became a formidable opponent to the repressive apartheid government. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of Mapungubwe. This order is awarded to South African citizens for excellence and exceptional achievement. We salute the recipients of the order of Mapungubwe for excellence and exceptional achievement here and across the globe. As we do so, we acknowledge and remember our ancestors sitting on top of Mapungubwe Hill who represented excellence, ingenuity, sophisticated systems and trade with nations as far away as China. They have pointed the scepter in the right direction without doubt or hesitation and we celebrate those that continue their legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Mapungubwe in bronze is hereby bestowed on Dr. Abu Bakr Ibrahim Dango for his ad oh yes just come. <laughs> is represented by his son and the, the, the order is bestowed on him for his admirable and distinguished contribution to the field of science through his groundbreaking research in physics. Mapungube in bronze is hereby bestowed to Dr. Banwele Masindi. <laughs> For his contribution to environmental sciences focusing on water, his work seeks to find much needed solutions to the challenges of water scarcity in South Africa. Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished guests and fellow South Africans, we will now bestow the order of the companions of our town. The order of the companions of OR Tambo is awarded to eminent foreign nationals for friendship shown to South Africa. It's concerned with matters of peace, cooperation, international solidarity, and support, and is integral to the execution of South Africa's international and multilateral relations. The order brings to mind a revolutionary thinker, 
a humanist mm -hmm. and a mentor of our nation, a leader par excellence who led us with his teachings and moral guidance into the promised land of South Africa. Today we honor his spirit to safeguarding the young and vulnerable in our society, guiding us to that non-racial, non-sexist South Africa that we're trying to achieve. Distinguished guests, the Order of the Companions of O.R. Tambo and Silver is hereby bestowed on Mr. Peter Tosh, Winston Hubert McIntosh, posthumously from Jamaica, represented by Ms. N. McIntosh. For his contribution to the liberation struggle, using his musical talent to advance the liberation cause worldwide through his incisive and awareness-raising lyrics in his music. The Companions of, Tam of O.R. Tambo in Silver is hereby bestowed on Ms. Ruth Weiss from Germany. contribution to the liberation struggle. Her prolific writing shone the light on injustices in South Africa. She has been a source of knowledge for other journalists and activists.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, can we give a big round of applause to all our esteemed members of the National Orders. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are all invited to join the President for lunch in the Marquis. This brings to an end the ceremony. The President, the Chancellor and the recipients will depart first, followed by other guests. Shall I therefore request, as the President take leave, that we all stand. Thank you very much. The President shall be followed by the Deputy President. Can we play some musical item as the other guests leave, please? Thank you very much, guest. Thank you. Have a wonderful long weekend. Crying out.